We've got the dirt on the best robot vacuums. iRobot and Neato are two of the biggest names in the business, and today we're pitting their two top of the line models against each other. The Roomba S9 Plus, the BotVac D7, it's a head-to-head -head battle. Let's get cleaning. First up, a limbo contest. Yes, I'm serious. We do lots of scientific tests on robot vacuums in our cool new custom lab, but sometimes you want a vacuum to fit under an ever-lowering bar. Drinking a frozen Mai Tai during the test is optional. While this is an anecdotal test that we do for fun, it also answers an important question. When picking out a robot vacuum, you want to know if it will fit under your furniture. This contest will show which vac is better at doing just that. The measurements aren't exact, but at roughly 3.5 inches, the Roomba made it under the bar and the Neato didn't. Could we have just used a tape measure? Sure, but shut up. Okay, okay, let's talk about how good they are at actually cleaning. Both are premium models. The D7 is $830, which is quite a bit, since you can now find budget models for around 200. But the S9 Plus is a whopping $1,100 on its own, or $1,300 with this fancy base station. For that much money, you could buy a nice TV, or a couple of game consoles, or several smart speakers, or a single monitor stand from Apple, so yeah, it's a lot. But the fancy base station cleans out the dustbin for you, so you have to maintain it less often. It moves the dirt from the bin to this bag while it charges. You do eventually have to change the bag, but probably only once a month, depending on how much dirt you shed. All in all, it holds around 30 bins of dust. Still, the feature doesn't mean anything if it can't clean your place. Fortunately, both models are pretty good at that. We spread sand, rice, and pet hair over hardwood, low pile, and mid pile carpet. We run the vacs and measure the weight of everything to see how much they pick up. Both models actually did great at all of the cleaning tests. It turns out if you pay more money for a robot vacuum, you get more cleaning power. Who knew? But who cares that they're both good? The real question is, which one's better? Both did so well on rice that we're calling it a tie. But even mid-range models nail that test. On sand, we start to see some separation. The S9 Plus did particularly well on mid-pile and hardwood. The D7 was great at low-pile and hardwood, so the better one for you as far as fine particles will depend on your carpet. We did lab tests on pet hair too, but first, let's bring in an expert consultant to advise us on this issue. Pepper. Pepper, stay. Pepper, sit. Pepper the dog, everyone. Our expert. Here you go. Yeah. Hi. We'll be as scientific as we can with this anecdotal test. We've got the same two rugs here. We're brushing Pepper's western side for this one and eastern Pepper for this rug. After a coin flip to determine which vat gets which, we turn them loose. Thanks to our expert consultant, we know that both vacs make cleaning up pet hair and cleaning up after pepper a little bit easier. Even at pet hair, they are both better than most robot vacuums. In the lab, Nito left some strands on both types of carpet, and the Roomba aced the test on all surfaces. So the battle for best cleaner was a back and forth contest of highly competent contenders, but Roomba edges out a victory with a great pet hair performance. Next up, navigation. Yeah, you want your robot butler to be good at grabbing dirt, but its ability to fully cover your floors is just as important so it doesn't miss spots. Again, both of these models are quite good at this task. We're able to take a look at their coverage pattern thanks to our test lab. Budget vacs basically just bump around until they hit something. This Roomba uses an optical sensor to look for landmarks on the ceiling and gauge the distance between walls. It vacuums with much more of a plan. The D7 goes one step further than that. It navigates using lasers. One, yes, we're gonna give it cool points just because lasers, lasers are neat. The lasers help it figure out the distance between objects and the size of obstacles. As a result, it can maneuver around furniture neatly while vacuuming with a plan. The S9 Plus comes close, but the Neato D7 carves the better path and has friggin' lasers. So let's talk speed. 
the guests are coming over and you want to get the floor clean, do you need to get the broom out yourself like a chump or will your super fancy robot butler be able to handle the task for you in a reasonable amount of time? Fortunately, those advanced navigation systems help here. Ordinary robot vacuums can take over an hour to clean a small room because they're just bumping about and making it up as they go. These guys have a plan and cleaned our test rooms efficiently. The Roomba took an average of 25 minutes, the D7 took 21. That's pretty good. But if you have a bigger floor, you might still need to help a robot out. If they run out of battery mid-task, they can remember the spot where they left off and return right there after swinging by the base station on their own for a charge. That's pretty cool. It just might not help if your in-laws are already on the way and you need to convince them that you're not a slob. But side by side, the D7 wins here too, and we get to credit this victory to those lasers too, as the better navigation helps it work more quickly. We can turn our attention to apps, smarts, remote controls. It's the final category of this battle, and we're wrapping in all extras lightning round style. Both work with Amazon and Google Assistant, so you can start either one with a voice command to your smart speaker of choice that's a tie. The Roomba S9 Plus cleans itself and empties its own dirt bin. Yes, that's extra, but it's still cool. Point to Roomba. Both map floors as they clean and let you schedule times to clean certain rooms. But the Neato D7 draws these nifty no-go lines to stop the vacuum from traipsing over your courts. The Roomba S9 Plus lacks that ability, though it does let you label your floor plan with names like kitchen, living room, etc. Still, when you break it all down, the D7's app controls are more practically useful point to Neato. The Roomba can talk to other iRobot devices like this mop called the Brava Jet M6. After the S9 Plus is done vacuuming, it can send the mop into action to spray down the floor. That's awesome, but you need to pay 500 bucks for an extra machine. So the Roomba does more if you're willing to pay, but in features especially, I'm taking value into account and giving the victory in the extras category to Nita. Huh. All right, let's recap. The S9 Plus edged out the D7 as far as cleaning power is concerned, but the D7 was faster, navigated more efficiently, and did just as well at extras for less. So the Roomba S9 Plus is great. If money is no object, it's the best choice for you, but in terms of value, it's not enough of an improvement over the already expensive Neato BotVac D7 to justify the premium. Neato wins the battle and the BotVac D7 is our high-end robot vacuum champion. <laughs>